let's start, as you mentioned, weekday bowl games starting at noon. Middle Tennessee against Toledo in the Bahamas Bowl. It's being played at Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium down in Nassau. This one's a noon kickoff. Toledo is a 10-point favorite, 51 and a half for the total. Do you have a play on this first game on the board? Yeah, so so first, real quick, I just want to throw out a little caveat to all of our viewers and listeners. Before you pl- bet any of these games, go look at uh, – Stucky has a tremendous running piece on the Action Network website where he is tracking all of the opt-outs, all of the coaching changes, all the news, because that is super important this time of year. Now, what's nice about these first couple bowls – is it probably doesn't matter because all of these players are going pro in something other than sports. So the first couple ones, you know, like Milton Disney Toledo, we can just handicap what's going on in the field. Uh, and I'm, I'm taking Toledo minus 10. I'll lay the points here. I think Toledo had a weird year. They were the favorites to win the Mac coming in, struggled early on when they were doing that two quarterback thing with Bradley and Finn settled on Finn really, really settled out. When you look, look at this Toledo like lineup. Okay. They, they led the Mac in points per game on offense. And also in the fewest points per game on defense, so they had the best offense, best scoring defense. The object is to score more than your opponent. Yet they somehow win just seven and five and five and three in Mac play. So it's kind of a weird year. I, I don't believe Middle Tennessee. You know they're on their fourth quarterback. They're starting either fresh. I don't know who will start is uh, Matadio or Mike DeLeo, who are you know freshman sophomore quarterbacks. They combined for six touchdowns, seven interceptions. Middle Tennessee is just 92nd in rushing success on defense. So, and Middle Tennessee is a weird team too, where their, their margin of games win or lose was 20.6. So they either win by a lot or lose by a lot. So you're lying the 10 with Toledo averages will tell you middle Tennessee is either going to win by 20 or lose by 20. So I'll lay the 10. (laughs) Yeah. It's when, when you bring up middle Tennessee, you have those teams in about October that they get on bowl eligibility watch and they needed everything to go right down the stretch but here's the thing, their last four games that they won came against opponents with a combined record of 10 and 38. They beat one and 11 FIU. They beat a decent five and seven FAU team, three and nine Southern Miss and one and 11 UConn. Toledo is not in those teams' classes whatsoever. And you brought up Taquan Finn, he averaged over 300 total yards per game in his last four while counting for 13 total touchdowns. I think Toledo is going to outclass them. And just a little historical nugget about the Bahamas Bowl. This is always a big game for the favorite. They're five and one straight up in the six Bahamas Bowls. So I'm going to go ahead with the Rockets here. This is one of my favorite plays of all of bowl season, which usually I like to, you know, hold out for those big confidence point, you know, moves in those pools that you get into. But I think right away Toledo is going to outclass Middle Tennessee, who will probably play two quarterbacks, as you mentioned, Mike DeLelio or DeLeo, however he pronounces it. It could be his first collegiate start. So I think Middle Tennessee is in a bit of trouble here. 